The Douglas Canon is really a Wesleyan tradition. It's been stolen from the university, presented to different people at different times. There's a lot of canon lore. Its whereabouts are unknown right now, at least unknown to me. Somebody knows where it is. Most undergraduates, I suspect, don't have a uh, knowledge of or a reflection of, of what it is. At base, it's a field piece, a small cannon. You could say it's just a cannon, but it's much more than a cannon because of the tradition around it. Campus culture uh, it was part of that when it was originally started. One thing that Wesleyan students used to do for fun back in the day, they would fire the cannon. There were cannon scraps, which are really fights between the freshman and sophomore classes. Somebody had the lead and somebody had the defense. You know, your job was get it onto the campus, blow around. It was pretty rough stuff. First time I saw it as a freshman, it's sitting on this pedestal between the the chapel in South College. It was mounted on College Row, and they spent a lot of money and a lot of effort really securing it, and it worked for a while. The cannon became the object of affection. A bunch of students pilfered it. Really somewhat imaginative of the undergraduates to figure out how to, to do this without getting caught. And that started off the tradition. Have I seen it? Yes, uh, I was here for 25 years. Do I have any personal knowledge of where it was and how it went around the country and the world? Uh, no, uh, I don't, and uh, if I did, I wouldn't share them anyway. <laughs> There's a sort of Wesleyan kind of irony in it. It's fun in a way, but it's also a kind of anti-establishment, anti-authoritarian um, gesture that make it very uniquely Wesleyan. A part of Wesleyan that needs to be remembered. I think what's the most special about the Douglas Canon is the way that it brings people together. I've never seen this. What the Douglas Cannon means to the university is really a kind of link with the past. In the dynamics of fun, it's a masterpiece. It would be great if the cannon came back, but the interest of having a cannon or having something like it is that um, it passes from hand to hand, and it's here one day and gone the next. But I think the cannon's kind of gone undercover for a little too long again.